The adventure begins. A cleansing rain, a baptism of the road. Wash away the dust and detritus of the city. Scrub the everyday and the mundane. Swab my soul to prepare me to receive the wonders that will unfold. Roll north, far star. Transport us on our journey of discovery. Past the forges, foundries, and factories. Past the cities and malls. Run true through the traffic and trappings of civilization. North. North. Past the farms and orchards to the land of Gichigumi. Fly, far star, across the mighty Mac, above the ore boats destined for the mills of the south. North. North, to where the midges swarm in clouds like rising smoke. North, to where the big lake has pounded the bedrock to sand and piled it high. Awaken my senses. See the wind on the lake. The doe and her fawns the dapples of sunlight in the forest, the shadows of clouds dancing across the meadow. Hear the wind whispering through the pines, the loons courting at dusk, the wolf in the night. Smell the heady musk of the moss in the woods, the salty breath of the ocean, the pungent smoke wafting from a campfire. Feel the chill of a mountain glacier, the icy embrace of a Yukon lake the warmth of the midnight sun on my face. Taste the tang of new cuisine, the bitter hops of craft beer, the sweetness of arctic berries. Roll north, North Star, north to Alaska. The second day dawned wearing a cool gray coat of fog, but today is the day to meet up with John in Duluth. So after a warm breakfast at Shirley's Diner in Ishpeming, we push on into the mist. Ten miles outside of town, rounding a curve, I spot him on the side of the road, cloaked in the brown of a wizard of the wood, a moose. He lifts his head at the sound of Farstar's boxer heart and stares at me. Welcome, Farstar, to the north. Wonders will unfold. Embrace the adventure, but remember to respect the north. He turned, took two steps into the bush, and vanished before I could turn the camera on, leaving me to wonder, was he really there? After an hour or so, the fog lifted, clouds parted, and the gray gave way to the azure bowl above. The dark and moody forest transformed to brilliant green of spring. Aspen stretched forth to receive soul's warm, life-giving rays. My mood also transformed from quiet reflection to elation. We're doing this. The years of talking about it, the months of planning, it's all in the taillights now. We're doing this. John and I live 757 miles apart. The plan is to meet at the Aerostitch plant in Duluth on June 6. No set time, just a date. We turned onto the street in front of Aerostitch from opposite ends at exactly the same time. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Or you have blind luck. Aerostitch makes top-end garments for the motorcycle industry and are widely regarded as the best. Touring and adventure riders from across the country and around the world make the pilgrimage to Duluth. After finally managing to make it here, we make the rookie mistake of forgetting to take video or even pictures. Oh! Well... That's about all we have for the first couple of days. We hope you liked our story. As we get better at this whole YouTube video thing, we'll try to improve the technique and content. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Remember, follow your star.